Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. So in this demonstration, we are going to talk about downloading and using source code from GitHub. So we are going to talk about GitHub basics, then we are going to talk about how to download the most recent or older versions of our repository from GitHub, then we are going to use the source code in an Eclipse IDE. So GitHub has two very basic functionalities. It provides hosting for source code and it provides version control functionality. The repository that I'm going to demonstrate can be found at github.com slash my demo apps. It's a simple calculator web application. So I have kept the idea as simple as possible so that we can focus on rest of the stuff. So this uh, calculator web application has methods like add, subtract, calculate factorial, and to check whether a given number is even or not. Let's jump into the practical demonstration. If you open the URL I just talked about, you see the calculator web app. So let's click on that. And you see this green button. This can be used to download the source code, the entire source code as a zip file. Then we have information about these commits. So this code has been committed four times. It means the changes were made and the code was submitted four times, right? So if you want to download the most recent version, you have to click on the screen button and then click on download zip. As you can see, the uh, source code has been downloaded. Let's go and check. Right. So we have this uh, zip file. The source code calculator web app is found right here. So you have to right click on the source code, then click on copy. And then I'm going to paste it on my desktop. So let's now open the source code from the uh, Eclipse IDE. Just have to click on the file menu, then click on open projects from file system. Then click on directory. And we just copied the uh, project to desktop, so we have to locate the folder calc web app and click on select folder and then click on finish. It's going to take some time to load the entire project. The project has loaded, so let's get started with it. So when you expand this uh, project tree, so you find the SRC, which is the source code for our project. And let's locate the main file. It's right here. It's calculator.java. A calculator class, and it has a whole bunch of methods like subtract, add, multiply, divide, and then uh, we have a method, a Boolean method is even, which checks whether a given integer is even or not. And then we have a method that calculates the factorial of a number. If you see this factorial method, we have uh, a number of uh, if statements. The first one is if a is less than 0, which means if you provide a negative number, it's going to return us an error code, that is minus 1. If the given number is 0, the factorial is 1. And then we have this recursive setup here. In case we provide a number, for instance, 5, the way it's going to work is it's going to return us a times factorial of a minus 1. So that, that means 5 times factorial of 4. And for 4, it's 4 times factorial of 3 and so on until it reaches the base case, which is 1. And for 1, it's going to return 1. And this is how the uh, method is working. So of course, our focus is not on uh, discussing the source code. Rather, we want to see how to download any previous version of this source code and see if we can uh, observe any changes. So let's get back to the GitHub and see how can we download the previous version of this application. So if you see, in uh, every commit, we have some description. So for instance, in the very last commit, we wrote test cases for the divide method. In the third commit, we change uh, the factorial method and is even method. So which means we should be able to see some changes in the 
second or first commit so let's download the source code for second commit in order to download the older version of the source code we have to click on this button which says browse the repository at this point in the history so let's do that now you can clearly see it says two commits instead of four and let's download this version of the source code we are going, once again going to click on the green button and then download zip so we are going to access the web application the calculator web application in the same way as we did in the previous case let's copy the source code and uh, before i move it to my desktop folder I'm going to rename it to calculator web application hyphen old let's now move the application to the desktop folder All right, so now we have a calculator web application that we copied earlier, and now we have an older version of the same application. Let's open the source code in the Eclipse ID and uh, let's see what's missing in the previous version of the source code. Before we open the older version of the projects, let's close this one. So right click on the project and then select close project. Even if you close the project, the project name still appears in the project explorer window in order to get rid of it right click on this and then select delete but make sure you don't check this box because it will delete the project from the file system you don't want to do that now let's open the older version of this project so once again click on file click on open now you have to select the directory it's on the desktop calc web app hyphen old project is loading let's go to the source main java and let's locate our calculator dot java file right here let's scroll down and see what we got here if you see in the previous version of the factorial method we don't have uh, an if statement for a negative number and we don't have an if statement for zero so of course this uh, method has a limited functionality and if we test it with uh, for instance zero or a negative number so this is going to fail all right thank you very much so now i believe you know how to download a repository and how to view the source code in Eclipse IDE. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. I'll be glad to answer. Thank you very much.